Hey guys, it's Kristen with another Chance Resale. Welcome to my channel. I'm a full-time reseller. And in today's video, we're going to be opening a Goodwill Blue Box. Five pound repurposed jewelry lot from um, New Jersey. Yay, they put it in a bag. I think I've noticed New Jersey puts their jewelry in a bag, which definitely helps with the tangling and I can get the box off my desk because it's small enough as it is <laughs> so <clears throat> as you guys know I sell items right off the video so if you're interested please email me at another chance resale one at gmail.com okay and as I'm getting all this stuff out of here well not all of it um, I also want to remind everybody to check my description box I have lots of links for you guys to check out, um, including my Patreon, which includes uh, reseller help and also a monthly jewelry subs subscription box. So click, you can click into that to find out more information. I won't go into it fully here. Um, I also um, am doing a creator showcase, so I will pick, you know, I, I go, p creators that I watch on YouTube, um, I will put the link to their channel there, so you guys have some, um, you know, possible new uh, channels to watch, that's a single earring that'll be put to the side, um, what else? Oh, I also created a an Amazon link, an Amazon storefront, I guess it is. Um, this is in decent shape. I would do four on that, clamber bracelet. Um, so if you're interested in starting reselling or starting um, to work with jewelry, I just compiled a list of some tools and products that I use um, that you can check out what's going on here and if you purchase anything from that storefront I just get a little kickback um, or if you are interested in maybe looking to see what products I use maybe things are cheaper than what you use and you can you know compare whatever so check out that link too um, I don't think I have a link that you can actually click on. I don't know. I haven't figured it out yet. It literally took me like five hours to create this thing the other day. This is just going to go into craft. Um, cause like I've told you in the past, I am not tech savvy. Um, yeah. So you might have to go onto like your laptop or computer or something and like copy and then paste it into your browser. Um, if it's not clickable. Oh wait, let me start with this first. So if you guys watched my thread up fun box the other day, um, I got this in there and it is a travel jewelry case. It's new with tag. I just want to see if anyone was interested in purchasing it. Um, I'll do it like five bucks plus shipping and it has like the little black velvet. Can you guys see that? Yeah, um, black velvet interior. And then there's a little fuzz on it. And then you just put your jewelry in there, pull it closed, stuff the strings in there, and <laughs> and um, zipper it. So I don't know if anyone was interested in that before I listed it. Um, $5, super cute. Okay. Yeah, so links in the description box. And I'm I update the... Amazon storefront often so make sure you check back on that um, here and there because I add stuff to it uh, I also include books you know reference books and stuff like that yeah okay so this hmm I think I'm gonna put in crafts because it's got a little bit of wear going on on the edges here and then you can also check my eBay store for craft lots and um, mystery jewelry lots. This is something that will go into crafting as well. <clears throat> this is cute. 
it's not in bad shape, but it's just not something um, really that I'm interested in selling, but it can go into a mystery lot. All right, we got a little cuff here. This says, lead together, fierce support. Okay, that's cute. It's a little bit, oop, it's a little bent. So I might have to just put that into craft. Unless somebody wants it, I would just do like two bucks, but it does have a little bit of a bend right there. It's not very noticeable, but it's there. So we have this necklace, or it might be like prayer beads. Um, I have no idea what that says. It looks like it's in Greek. I'm not sure, but that'll just go into crafting as well. <clears throat> Ooh, this looks cool. Oh, cabs are here. Oh my God, did you guys see that Jersey Shore came out with a new season? Okay, I'm totally a Jersey Shore fan. However, come on, they're like in their 40s now. And they have, they're married, kids, most of them. Like, come on, I think they're like dragging it now. Um, I have not watched it. Have you guys watched it? I think last Thursday was the first episode. Um, this is cute. However... That bead is like, mm -mm. it's all chipped up and scratched, and these ones have a little bit of scratching too, so that'll just have to be put into craft as well. There's a little bit of doo-doo there, <laughs> so yeah, that it's not really going to work. Hold on, Okay. This is very cool. I see a tag. M N G. Not sure on that, but it is in very good condition. Wait, I think I have it backwards. Yep, sure do. <laughs> Story of my life. That always happens to me with necklaces. Okay, so this is really cute. It's very like tribally. Um, so and it looks to be in near perfect condition. Not really even sure if it was ever worn. So I can do, I'll do five on that. That's pretty cool. So I see a J. Crew earring. That's pretty. It's got some wear, but we'll put it to the side. Um, this is the only box I got from this order. Uh, so if I have any single earrings, they're, I'm just going to put them in craft because there's no other box to see if... The mate is there. So this is this is nice. It is a necklace, so kind of just sit um, right at the you know the base of your throat with this little piece of glass here. That's cool. Um, I don't see any markings, and it's very very lightly worn but it's pretty cool. So I would do five if anyone was interested in that. This is super cool. However, the braid is so dirty, so, so dirty. And this, um, it's all the coppers coming through. So surprisingly, these pieces are in very good condition. Well, not very good, but okay condition. So I'll put that into craft too, because that'd be pretty cool for someone to use. We have this, um, just a cheapy little string wrapped bangle. Um, everything's plastic on it. That'll have to go into crafting as well. I have two different craft piles, so if you hear different noises going on. <laughs> okay, this is definitely a no. I like that part, though. So that's kind of stinky, but that'll go into craft. 
we have a bangle and on the inside it, okay it's just some numbers VBA5250 and PU3 no I'm just kidding P0003 <laughs> it's in really good shape so uh, there's just a little scuff right there but other than that well, that's just dirty it's pretty nice so I'll put that into mystery All right, so now this. So, all right, one of the links is backwards because these have rhinestones, rhinestones, no rhinestones. So I don't know what happened there, but it got turned, this link got turned the wrong way. But I do see a mark it says 925. Um, I mean, maybe, but I don't really know about that. Yeah, it just looks too flimsy. Let's see. Oh, I have to open up a new solution because I used all of the other ones. So hold on because... Okay. Okay, I guess that didn't open. Okay, sorry, that took way longer to open than I thought, and I didn't want to spill it all over the place, so, okay. <laughs> Louise, sorry, then I sneezed like four times and had to blow my nose. <laughs> Yes, okay, it is sterling. So it turns blue when, when you use the 18K solution. So that's awesome. I just will have to figure out, you know what? I mm, It is broken right here. So I bet you I can just go like that and then flip it over. And then put it back in, but then it's going to be broken. So how did this go? All right, well, whatever. But I would just put it back in here. You guys, this is not... There we go. Let's see how it's broken. But now it's actually, it's laid the right way. So, there's two things I could do with this. I could either, if someone's interested in it because, well, there are missing stones. There's two missing stones. I could probably have my husband solder the back of this and connect it. It's kind of cute. Or... If nobody wants me to do that, I will scrap it. But let's just check these for diamonds. So we'll put that on the side. I just fired up Pressy. I also put um, all these tools that I use here, like you know the loop, the the gem tester, you know the stuff, the my magnet, you know whatever else. It's all on that Amazon storefront for you guys. Okay, let's see, really quickly. No. Okay, so that's that. So if nobody wants this fixed for purchase or purchase for yourself, um, it's gonna be scrapped and I would probably just ask like eight bucks for this. Okay, moving right along, I see this little guy so I'm gonna catch him you know it's really funny I really can't believe I'm I have this right now because remember I told you guys how I was um I'm I do like the Facebook live auctions for, like the jewelry auctions here and there well I actually bid on a sterling silver alligator exactly like this he's a brooch um 
and you wear them on your shoulder. Well, I mean, you don't have to, but like, because they're articulated. He like goes right around my finger. It's so cute as if he's real. Um, anyway, so I got a sterling silver one just like this, probably same size for 15. Nobody else bid on him. So I'm waiting for him to come in the mail, but this guy's cool. He's gold tone and in pretty, pretty good condition. Uh, he's not marked. Goes with my nails with the little black eyes. Um, I would do 10 on him if anyone was interested. Otherwise, he's joining my collection. <laughs> okay, here is a chain. Oops, and some fuzz. No markings, but it's a nice one, so I'll probably keep it for a pendant in my little stash of chains. <clears throat> All right, let's start with that. Okay, let's get this off. Like, how does that even get like that? I always wonder. Okay, so this is cool, but it's super bent out of shape. Um, yeah. This is just sea glass of some sort, something like that. Um, we're gonna put this into crafting too. It's just like a copper gold tone, nothing special. <laughs> okay. This is a very large stretchy and not in the best of condition, so we will put that into crafting as well. Ugh, I feel a sneeze again. So this is an awesome earring. I really like this earring. I hope there's a mate because that's really cool and it's in good condition. Here's another one. Okay, it is marked on the back. It's Trina Turk. However, I think there was something in the middle because now there's not. <laughs> and this guy is super duper heavy. He's a stretch. He's cool. Um, I don't know if it's like stretched out or if it's just a bigger, see all this, the room under there? But it's really cool. We'll do five on that. What is this? So this is just a silver tone earring and it's not in good sh Oh wait, it does say something. Okay, where's my loop? Where is it? It does say 925. <sighs> hmm, it may be. It may be. Let's do a quick test. Tis, tis. Um, yeah, so I'll look for the mate, and if there's no mate, it'll be scrap. Oh, and so actually while I have this happening to me, I'll show you guys what it looks like to get this acid on your skin. I'm, I usually, you know, I have my fingers all the way back here when I, you know, and I don't touch it. I use like a little makeup round because this, you know, I have my, I have them right here usually to wipe off. But lately I've been lazy and I didn't want to use up my makeup rounds. So what I've been, what I was doing the past couple of videos, you guys can't see, but the edge of my paper towel over here. I've just been like wiping it and like in like a dork I would put my hand in it because you know I'm leaning over here but I lean over here off camera and I didn't even realize that I put my hand in the acid on the paper towel so it's not a big deal but it just makes your skin like almost like you have Elmer's glue on it when you were in school and you would peel it off can you guys see that All right here. Yeah, and then you just peel it off. And you're fine. <laughs> but that's what it's like to get it on your skin. It's really not that big of a deal. I know a lot of people freak out. 
And I used to get a lot of comments. Oh my God, you have to wear gloves. No, I mean, yeah, I mean, you should probably, but I never thought I needed to because I thought I was always careful. <laughs> and I was until I started wiping it on where I'm leaning. So that's what it looks like. It's just a little bit of peely skin. All right, this looks really cool. Oh, I see the other Trina Turk. Okay, good. Ooh, I like him. Ah, oh, but he's missing so many stones. Can you guys see okay? Yeah. Oh. All right, so right off the get, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Missing stones. And I do not see a maker, but this guy is so cool. Get on there. <laughs> oh. I like him. Um I'm not in the business of fixing jewelry, so that's gonna be a dub for me. But if anyone wants him, he's he's in really good condition otherwise. I would take four bucks for him. Okay, moving on. So let's look at this Trina Turk. So this one doesn't have anything either. But it's like inset. Like you see it? Like there was something laid in there? I mean, maybe not. But it's just weird that it's like a, there's like a little lip. I don't know. I'll have to look them up online and see but there's no residue like there's no glue residue so maybe they're supposed to be like that and they're marked on the side right there trina turk can you tell i like ripped that bracelet off of me look <laughs> um so yeah i'll have to look these up and see like what they're really supposed to look like if i can find them online that's that's very strange to me okay let's look at this because this looks pretty All right, so we got a knot. I wanna just make sure that the necklace is in, like it's not broken. All right, let me just turn you guys off and get this undone. Okay, okay. that took me a little longer than expected. However, it is done, and it's this pretty gold tone chain with the satellite beads. And this, I guess that's real tiger eye, but it's faceted. That's really pretty. I like the bail on it. It's really cool, the bead cap. And it is a longer necklace. But it's beautiful. So I would do six on that. And probably like $18.99 online. This is just a little stretchy. It'll go into crafting. Ooh, look, we have two mates right here. But the wires are just a little bent. So I just did that right now on my finger. So that works right there. And that one. So we good to go now. Um, do like four on those little cuties probably 12.99 online okay this is very pretty all right come on It's a little bit worn, like some of the copper showing through on the tips of the flowers, but other than, oh yeah, it doesn't really, that's about, I mean, it's okay condition. I don't know. I don't feel comfortable selling it because the tips of the middle flowers are the coppers showing through. 
So I'm just going to put that into craft. We have this earring we can put to the side and see if there's a mate. This is, what does that say? Lisa Leonard. A B H. I have no idea. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. It does say nine two five on the clasp, but these are someone's initials, so that's kind of going to be hard to resell. So I'll probably just put all this into um, scrap. And then this, I don't know what this is. It's a big mess. Okay, there we go. So, it's got three strands on each side. It's fairly long. And then it's got this pretty flower, like open globe with a pretty tassel and it's in excellent condition so we gonna do five on her probably like $12.99 online I see a faux Chanel but we'll see if the mate is around Ooh, this looks like some pretty stuff all right all right Let's start with this then. <laughs> so that's a pretty earring. We'll see if the mate is around. Oh, oh, this is just falling apart right in my hands. So this is probably Jade. Um, yeah, it's really not in good condition. As you can see, it's completely falling apart. And this just like broke off right in my hands. But let me see. Yeah, this is Jade. So I'll probably just have to put that into craft. That's that's really sad. Oh wait, here's another piece. I see it in the bag. Damn. All right, well, there goes that. This is pretty. Oh, it's missing something in the middle there. And this does not look like real turquoise to me. So that'll probably just go into craft. Am I not focused again? Okay. This here's the other doo doo earring we'll go into craft. Oh, this is a pretty hoop. Hoop, hoop girls, hoop girls, who was a hoop girl or still is. I don't see any markings. Whoop. Yeah, no, but they're in good shape. So if there's a mate, I can definitely sell it. Oh, so guys, you know how I always thought that in order to be monetized, you can't curse in your videos. Ha! <laughs> you can! You so can. So I found out that you can curse and you could even smoke weed in your videos and still get monetized. Um, you can drink in your videos. Um, yeah, you can curse. Um, however, what, th what will happen is your videos just, they won't like bump your your videos won't really get bumped in the algorithm like they'll be like further down in the algorithm because like YouTube doesn't want to like promote you know cursing and smoking weed and stuff like that Bijou Turner never heard of that um but that's pretty let's look her up so yeah I mean that's pretty cool I didn't I thought you like had to be like you know 
a good girl. Because <laughs> um, I actually recently found this channel and she's hilarious. And she does vlogs and stuff like that. And um, she curses like hardcore. And um, she's monetized. She has, she has like 6 million subscribers. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> okay. So yeah, I looked it up. Um, okay, so here's the exact one. Oh wait, no, it's not exact. Okay. Well, anyway, they're listed for, you know, an okay amount. We can try for sold. Yeah, okay, well. Can't win them all. So, but this is really cute and it's in good condition. And it is four strand. And it's got these really cute little like medallion satellites. I really like that. So let's do five on that. And probably twelve to fourteen ninety nine online. That's gonna go into craft. Here's okay. This is J Crew. You see in there. This is really pretty. It's in very good condition. I love that hot like coral. So I can do five on that. Probably like twelve ninety nine online. I think this looks like J Crew too. This looks like that other necklace, but it's just one strand. But this feels way nicer. Oh no, it is magnetic, okay. Um, and this has no clasp, so it just goes over the head. I would do five on that as well. All right, let's see if this is J. Crew. Okay, this is all kinds of, let me get it straight. And it is J. Crew. there's the hang tags. So yeah, I mean, this one's in really good shape and it is like all little separate little pieces. Very nice. Um, their stuff goes for okay, maybe like $16.99 for this, something like that. Or for you guys, if you, I would do six. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Ooh, this is nice, but it is, oh, it's J. Crew too. It's right there, but it's really worn, like the copper is coming through on the tips of these little studs or whatever you want to call them so that's gonna to have to go into craft wow that's a big honker clear earring we'll put that on the side oh look here's this one those are nice so we'll do four on those there's no no maker oh yay and here's this one yes oh it's missing a stone Two stones, hmm, right there and there. Poop. Um, I don't know. I don't really have any stones to replace. So if you guys think you might be able to fix it, I'll give them to you for two bucks. But these are so pretty. <laughs> that makes me sad. Okay, this. Ooh, so this might be native, uh, Native American jewelry. It's signed TJO, and it says Sterling, and that is really, really pretty. So it's probably coral and turquoise, probably onyx and mother of pearl. And this isn't like tarnish or anything. It's actually a little design. Ooh, I hope I have the meat to that. That is so cool. All right, here it looks like, um, what do they call this? Like paper wrap, paper wrapped beads or something like that. It's not an actual bead, it's paper wrapped into like a bead shape. <laughs> so we'll put that on the side. 
All right, so far so good on this lot. I'm liking it. Let me know what your thoughts are at the end. Leave a comment. Okay, so these are brand new. Uh, maybe not because they're missing some stones. So we're going to have to put these into crafting. And, ooh, yeah, that too. <laughs> So this I can see is Banana Republic right there. Oh, this is pretty. This um, looks kind of like a citrine, but it's, you know, it's plastic actually. But it's very pretty. Um, it's in excellent condition. I see very, very minimal wear, if any. So we can do five on that. That's super cool. And probably like $16.99 online. Okay. This one's pretty. This, oh wait, it does have a tag. Fry Rich? Well, hello, can't see it. Fry Rich? Never heard of it, but it looks vintage. Let's look it up. I actually had somebody um, comment that it's they think it's annoying. They said that. It's annoying when you look up things in your videos. So I said, fast forward. <laughs> Briar Rich. All right, so listed prices, we're looking at 16, 17, 25. Ooh, that one's cool. Um, 40, so there, it's really all over the place. So let's see about actual solds. <sighs> okay, so on the low end, that kind of looks like mine. Ha, <laughs> $1.25, oh Lord. Yeah, so not very exciting. Um, so yeah, um, it's also, I don't know if it's a little dirty or just, like, look at that. I don't know. I can try to give it a little bath, but how about we do three bucks? Otherwise, I don't know. <laughs> Ooh, I like that. It's kind of like a Greek key motif. We'll put that on the side. Oh, here's that other earring. So we have these. I'll do I'll do two on those. Actually, no, I take that back. The ear um hook is the, mm -mm, it's like peeling. Nope, I'm not doing that. It's crafting. So this is pretty. A little medallion. medallion and it says Avon that's cute I like that do five bucks $12.99 or so online uh, this doesn't have a maker but it's in excellent condition it's a lot of different chain links put together kind of long We'll do five on that too. Probably $12.99 or so online. Oh, I just got really hungry. Oh, okay. Let's see what this is. So this is cool. Um, it's really bent, but it's really like strong. Like I can't fix it. It's like really, I can't even move it. Barely. I can move it like that, but that's about it. Um, hmm. Don't know about this. Let's see if it's any, no, they're not real stones. I'll have to see if I can, I can't even push down on it. That's crazy. Um, I don't know if anyone wants it as is I would just do four dollars 
I don't see any maker. No David Yerman. <laughs> okay, we'll put that away on the side. This Varsity Craft. This is cute, but it's plastic, so that's craft. All right, <laughs> what is all of this? This, um, they're not plastic. They are metal, but no markings. So I would just, uh, ew, no, there's verdigris on it. That's a dub, so no. All right, let's look at this big honker. Ooh, this is actually cool. So this is Chico's, is it? No, it just says China on the tag. <laughs> That's kind of weird. There's nothing on the other side. But I like it, and it's in like new condition. I'm not sure if it was ever worn, and it feels so cool. Imagine this on. Wow. It's just a fashion cheapy, you know, it's lightweight, but it feels really nice. And it's excellent condition. So let's do eight on that. That's a nice big piece. What is that? I think that's plastic. Maybe, maybe it's Bakelite? Nah, I don't know. Let's see, let's just pull out some more stuff. Um, you know what? Let's just empty the bag because this is really it. Okay, so that's the bag. We're all done. So let's see what we got. Um, let's do this. This is just, <clears throat> this is just a stretchy. It's in okay shape. I'll do like three on that. But I'll probably put that into craft um, if nobody takes it. <clears throat> this is cool. I like the color combo, the blue and the gold. I do not see a maker, but that is very cool. I'm going to do five on that. It's in really good condition. All right, so there's two of these, and they're pretty substantial. Let's see if there's anything on the gem tester. I mean, I'll show you if it's if it's something. Yeah, so I think we got something here. So let's move everybody over. All right, so check it out. These, let's check out these yellowish ones. So I'm going to guess that's citrine. Whoop, those are jade. The uh, bluish green ones. These blackish ones might be just a quartz. That's what it's coming up to. And these, oh, wow. These might be a jade too. Because look at that line. It's like right at the jadeite. So that's really cool. There's two of them. The stretch is pretty good. Um, this one looks a little smaller. I mean, I would do, I'd do 10 a piece on these. Pretty nice. Very interesting. Okay. Let's continue. So we have this. Ooh, this is pretty. So it's um, beaded. Seed beads. It's very beautiful with the little... Um, ball clasp thing. Very, very pretty. Would we'll do six on this. Probably like $14.99 online. So this one we didn't have a mate, so we'll hold on to that. This, we don't have a mate yet. We're probably not gonna. This is a glass bead bracelet. Let's check the clasp. Hmm. 
It might be sterling. It might. It might. No, it's magnetic. So that's just a pretty glass bead bracelet with um, heart beads. We'll do five on that. Okay, so here is a silver hoop. What the heck? I think it's just a, uh, you know, not precious metal like the other one was. This is pretty too. Do you have a mark? I don't see one. No. Um, oh yeah, actually no, that's really worn. We're gonna say no to that. Oh, here's these earrings right here. We'll do, they're lightweight, they're plastic. Um, We'll do three on those. Probably like 12 bucks online. Oh yeah, here's that other key, Greek key looking one. Those are pretty. These might be sterling, they kind of look like it. So let's see. Let's do a quick test. No, they're not. Ay ay ay. They do have like a little bit of a gold wash, it looks like, over it. Like a, I don't know, like a gold and silver. Not real, obviously. But we'll do three on those two. Oh, look, here's this one. Do three on those as well. I'll find backs if anybody wants them. Uh, these are a no. These are really worn. Nope. Crafting. This is pretty, but it's just very cheap. Like, it's very lightweight. Like, it feels like nothing. Um, it's in not that great of condition. <sighs> I don't know if anyone would be interested in this. It's kind of scratched up a little bit. I mean, it's all right. So maybe like three bucks... If anyone wants that, we have these. Oh, that one's bent. Uh, oops, as I dropped my magnet. See, these aren't magnetic either. I don't think these are silver. Jeez Louise. Oh, they're bending all over the place. No, they're scratching red. Nope. Okay. See, there I go, wiping it on the corner. Make sure I don't... Make sure I don't put my arm in it again. <laughs> okay, here's these ones. I don't know what that is. I guess that's supposed to be there. See how they're... Maybe there was supposed to be something there. I don't know, but ever they're the same on both earrings. Can you see, like, the little silver... I don't know. But if anyone wants these, I'll do three. They're pretty. And the little silver parts are the same on both. Oh, look. Here's that other J. Crew. Very cool. I like these. These are really cool. They do have some wear, like some scratching. You can see. But if you're interested, I'll find backs. And let's just do two on these since they got a little bit of wear. But those are really pretty. All right. We have these. This mate. Cute little um, gold tone earrings. Little hoops. Let's do four on those. Can you tell I'm hurrying this last part? Because I am hungry. All right. This. Oh, this is cool. Okay. So let me try to show you. So, oh, there's a tag. Let me see. Oh, maybe not. The tag doesn't have anything on it. All right, so this necklace, it's two-tier, like two-layer. 
This one is really short, like it would sit right at the base of your neck, like right at your collarbone maybe even. And then this one, this goes really long. That is really cool, I like this. There is some slight wear to the little coins, but nothing major. So I would, I'll do just four on this if anyone wants it. That's really pretty. All right, let's look at what this is. This is cool. I don't know what that mark is though. I don't even know which way it goes. <laughs> and how do you open it? Oh, there we go. I don't see any markings. Does anybody know what that is? Even if I have it the right way. <laughs> No idea, but I really, really like it, and it's in good condition. It just has to be, well, it's not in the best condition, but it has to be cleaned up. So let me know if anyone knows what that is. Oh, look, here's that other silver tone hoop. We'll do four on those. Excellent condition. This, nope, this is gonna go into craft. This is coming off. Oh, I don't have that other earring. Poo, that's doo-doo. This is just a, I don't know what's going on here. Ooh, that's going into craft. This is a coin charm bracelet. Ooh, I like that with the faux pearls. Uh, no idea what any of that says, but it's in like new condition. <laughs> so pretty. So let's do six on that. All right, so then all that's left is right here. So we got this with no mate. So that'll go into craft and then all this, which is like nothing. So I'm really bummed about this. No mate. So maybe I can get I definitely have some sterling chains, so maybe I'll get a, like a shorter one and make this into a pendant, and that'll look really cool. Yeah, I think I might do that. And this, I'm gonna say that that's just plastic. Looks like an egg yolk. <laughs> okay, that's everything, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Let me turn off the pressy. And um, I really do appreciate each and every one of you and your support. And I know I get a couple emails here and there from you guys. Um, thank you. It just really means a lot um, that you guys like what I'm doing. Um, and I'm here to help. So I'm glad you guys like the videos. I hope you enjoy going forward. And I love hearing from you guys. Um, positivity, uh, constructive criticism, don't be mean. <laughs> and thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.